When you're rejected as a man often enough and often in a very rude way, you think to yourself, why am I doing this to myself? And sometimes you just let it be. You simply tick off the topic of relationships and concentrate on what makes you happy. If we see a woman we would like to know better, we think, do we go and compliment her and tell her we would like to get to know her better? Then the alarm bells ring, and we think, what's her reaction going to be? Will we get accused of harassment or of being a pervert? Then we think, not worth the trouble and walk away. There's a lot of talk about how women are frustrated because men aren't asking them out anymore like they used to. Women are frustrated? That men have finally started to put value on themselves and realize that they don't need a woman to validate them? That men no longer want to deal with headaches, narcissism, greed, and disrespect? Really? Welcome to the real world, ladies. And remember, you ask it for this. You moaned and complained that you didn't want men approaching you and creeping you out. You are strong and independent and don't need a man. You only want the top 1%. We men merely adapted to modern interpersonal dating dynamics. If we approach you, we're thirsty and you don't respect us. If we don't approach you, we're insecure and you still don't respect us. The red pill opened men's eyes to modern women's entitled, narcissistic hypergamous nature. Most women are liabilities. That's why we men don't approach them. You don't make a move. She thinks you're not interested. You make a move. She thinks you're too fast, too serious. You make a lot of money. She expects you to pay for everything. You don't make a lot. She won't respect you enough to give you the time of day. You really can't win nowadays. Most men have been used in high school and college by women who aren't attracted to them. Also have been placed in the friend zone for foolish reasons. Another reason is women don't know how to stop manipulating foolish head games and not taking dating and relationships seriously. Some women have embarrassed men trying to make an effort for a relationship getting rejected in front of their girlfriends. After the jerks and the bad boys don't commit to them, after giving up the intimacy, they'll ask where are all the good men. Many blame men for their irresponsibility with their SMV value because of the jerks and bad boys actions thinking all men are the same. Any man who goes up to a woman he never met or so before, and tries to strike up a friendly conversation with her, runs the real risk of being harassed, roughly by law enforcement, and even getting arrested and charged with a crime that he never did. This is no exaggeration. A man's life could be ruined just for saying hello. Trust me. In a few years, it's going to get to the point where even the chads are going to get rejected for who women consider better chads. The number of who they consider high-value men will continue to shrink, thus leaving more and more women lonely. Feminism taught them to go against God's righteous order for our lives and led them down a road of despair. As women become more selective in whom they want to be with, Men need to be educated about what women genuinely seek in men and how men are vulnerable to their misleading techniques. Without men, society cannot and will never be functional. Men need to defend their masculinity and dispel any notions that being a man is a terrible thing, as feminists would have you believe these days. All in all, going their own way has led a lot of men to realize how their lives were being wasted away through women trying to use them for their time, energy, resources, and validation. Men have realized that the attention given to women shouldn't be free. The cold and raw truth of why men are going away is essentially men realizing that they've had enough of the exploitation at the hands of women and the society that is increasingly hostile and unfair toward them. This includes the justice system as well as media and popular culture. To be precise, a man who has taken the figurative RP has officially decided that it is best if he goes his way after realizing the truth about women and how they take advantage of and use men for their gain. Guys go their way when women mistreat them and take everything away from them without remorse. Men who take the RP learn more about the truths underlying the dynamics between men and women and understand how much more successfully they can live their lives without contemporary women. I think it is too late for women even if they change. It's like going years without the nastiest, dirtiest drug that you were once hooked on. You make the break, go clean, pat yourself on the back, get your life on track, put money in the bank, 
and look around at the other junkies and thank God you didn't end up with them. I just don't understand why are people in this country so lacking in rationality when it comes to women. If you deem it a form of attack and abuse to express attraction and desire, by deeming it as harassment and inappropriate behavior, then men aren't going to approach them. It's not rational to do that in the first place if that's not the outcome that you want. But Americans tend to disregard rationality and logical consistency when it comes to women, which puts men at risk. Men aren't willing to disregard their careers and their social standing and risk losing their jobs and being thrown in jail, so they aren't approaching anymore. It's one of the great things about getting outside of this country where you don't have to be worried about being treated like a criminal for expressing desire or attraction. When a man is in his 20s or 30s and begins to live and earn money alone, he has long since stopped thinking of himself as a part of a couple. Before you know it, he says, Hey, this isn't too bad of a bargain. Maybe I don't get to have kids and live with a wife, which is fine because I'm having such a good time. Because of this, millions of men are choosing not to get married at all. We discuss those laws as well as how society views us negatively. This is not something we internalize. I don't internalize anything that people say about me negatively or that society says about men, patriarchy or anything else like that. I think men must be vocal about these things because that's how you shape laws. Otherwise, the laws will remain unfair towards men and they will continue to suffer. Decades of women telling men that they should not approach them have resulted in men getting the messages and not approaching them. Apps are easier for men too. Less likely to be publicly rejected. Dating apps are a phenomenon, or more so the female attitude towards them is. I had one date look at me like I was crazy for mentioning unmatching someone for her to say they don't unmatch they let their matches and likes get so out of hand that they can't be bothered sorting them so just delete and re-download the app. This aligns with the patterns I saw on there. Multiple women with repeat new profiles due to this process. I was ignorant of how one was trying to flex about how many matches and likes she had. It's all a narcissistic, numbers for validation game until they have to step back into reality and realize they're alone. And like these women showed pretend men are the problem. They operate off a paradoxical and contradictory approach to dating and have the audacity to wonder why it fails. Amazingly, these modern women make up games and rules and now nobody wants them. I can see why there are so many passport bros now leaving the country to search for normal women. I'd travel to Mars to avoid these modern women. Women have to distinguish between reality and fantasy. They think some great guy with money is going to appear out of nowhere to save them, just like princesses were saved in those Disney films. Simply said, women are deluded, expecting young men to see them as prizes. Instead, the women should be aiming for age-appropriate men. For decades, the standard for a dateable woman's age has been half the man's age, plus seven. That means a 40-year-old woman should be seeking a man, age 66 or older, who will still see her as quite a catch. Men are tired and are done with being turned down coldly and callously by women. Especially if she is with friends, she will be brutal. Thanks, ladies. We're good doing without. Too many crazies and gold diggers, we aren't doing the drama anymore. Have fun with your dozens of cats. We'll be hunting, fishing, camping, going to the game, going to the races, museums, movies, reading, going to conventions of things we are interested in as a great alternative to having our hearts broken. Our minds are warped, losing our kids, our homes, finances destroyed. The guft has poured billions into women-only contracts, women-only positions, and affirmative action hiring for women. The private sector has mirrored this heavy push for female superiority over males. Women have never had it easier in the workforce, and men have it worse than they've had in a long time. Unless you're born into a wealthy family, you are in for a long, hard life. Men have always had a hard way to go, but most governments haven't gone out of their way to make things more difficult. The only way I see out of this is if young men get pissed and get organized. They need to regroup and let women know what their conditions are, or they'll never accept or validate them ever again.